I'm curious why in the first place is it possible for us to have peace around money? And if so, what do we need to start shifting in our minds to create that peace? Yes, I, I noticed when I was in North America, I casually asked, uh, a, a, I thought a close friend of mine, you know, I, I became very close to him. So I asked him, uh, how much do you make a year? Just casually. And I know I'd say something wrong because he looked so shocked. Like, <laughs> you ask me that? And I said, oh, oh, I, did I say something wrong? <laughs> it's not so uh, secretive in Japan that uh, if you become close, you ask, you know, uh, how much money you make to each other. But in North America, you don't even do it among uh, close friends, right? It's sort of like a, a, something that you don't touch. Even family, families don't talk about it. Mm -hmm. Why is it more openly talked about in a peaceful way in Japan or other places? I think uh, North American people tend to be, tend to tie how much they're worth or how much they make with their worth. Uh, mm. Their self-worth. Yes, yeah. self-worth. We have different value system, like how many friends you have, or are you married or not, uh, do you like your job? So say there are certain points, right? So uh, money is one of them, but not the major part of it. But in mm -hmm. North America, I think it's a cultural thing, and, and I'm not blaming it for it. But I think uh, people think uh, how much they make, how much it, their worth is it. You know, uh, you may be good looking, but if you don't make much, like you're nothing. But if you make a lot of money, and if, even if you're a terrible person, you get to be uh, respected. So I think it's mm -hmm. a cultural thing. And it brings, seems to bring a lot of shame and pride from money, which yeah. I don't see it in so, uh, other cultures. So I think it's very unique to uh, American culture. Interesting. What would you say is the secret then to creating abundance financially in your life when most people struggle or fail to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, I've been talking about this um, over the past 20 years, and there are so many as aspects of uh, abundance. You know, uh, I call it vi visible assets and, and invisible assets. So uh, financial value is just, just a very short, um, small portion of your abundance. But uh, 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 that is not included in the package, I guess. So that's why we're obsessed about making money or we jump onto these investment ideas and, and that's an interesting cultural phenomenon. Gotcha. What would you say, so the invisible assets, would you say those are more important to learn about and master in order to create abundance over the, the visible assets? Once again, invisible assets, it's part of your life. So if I say, um, uh, like going on fishing with your friends is so much fun f uh, for me, I'm not interested in doing much business. So uh, by uh, American standard, I become a loser because you know I'm, <laughs> I'm going uh, enjoying fishing with a bunch of my friends. But they could be all millionaires you know, who retired early. But... I think uh, um, going for fishing uh, with a bunch of friends are not as respected as uh, going on like a venture cap, you know, venture business and trying to make money or just, you know, to start a, a company with your visions. So I think it's a criteria. Uh, uh, in, do you focus on more relationships or peace of mind? And the peace of mind is is an, uh, the most uh, precious invisible assets. But a lot of people trade for money, and that's a sad thing. Um, all over the world, people do that. Uh, we think we have to do it to make to bring food on the table, but is it really worth it to um, uh, to trade with your peace of mind or you, with your integrity? Mm. But unfortunately, many people do that. Is it possible to create? peace of mind abundantly and also create profitable financial abundance at the same time. Yes, that's what I've been teaching. But uh, you have to prioritize it because uh, all your questions come from, at the end, I want to be rich. <laughs> so can you give up the idea of becoming a rich? Because you have to 
I let go of this idea of、uh, becoming wealthy financially. My mentor,、um, who is called Warren Buffett of Japan,、uh, he said, if you want to learn uh, uh, about money from me, you have to forget about money. That was his、mm. first request. <laughs> go, oh, wait a second. <laughs> you know, You're like, but how do I make more money? <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, so, how can, I, how can I learn about money if I forget about money? So, he said, You're obsessed with money making、uh, ideas. So, unless you forget about money, I cannot teach you about money. So, his teaching was very Zen. So, I might be confusing a lot of viewers at the moment because I,、uh, a lot of people always think, okay, Ken, that's great. And then, how can I make money? And then, how do you make money? <laughs> so, you have to forget it, at least for the next、uh, half an hour or so. When you forget it, what should you be focusing on instead? What is the most important thing in your life? And, and that could be your family, that could be your hobbies, that could be、uh, certain causes. And,、mm -hmm. and if that's more important than money, you should go for it. And、uh, I can teach many ways to invite money in after、uh, you find what you do. But、mm -hmm. there are only two kinds of life in,、uh, on this planet、uh, kind of like that you follow your heart, do what you enjoy. The other one is、uh, the life that you cannot enjoy. So, a lot of people choose the path that you cannot enjoy as long as they can make money. And then they think, okay, if I make enough money, I can retire and start doing what I want to do. But、uh, it doesn't happen that way. You'll be lucky if you can make a, mon a lot of money and then retire. But because you lose a lot of moti、uh, motivation, You lose a lot of energy if you go take a path of making money. And then、uh, you cannot make money. And even if you're lucky and you, you made it, you don't know how to look for happiness because you sacrifice all the、uh, happiness and your peace of mind for money. How can you change the attitude? It's, it's very difficult because、uh, all you think is、uh, it's just, just a simple. Uh, thing, you know,、uh, efficiency. How can I cut cost? How can I increase、mm -hmm. my wealth? But think about、uh, it this way、um, if you just make a lot of money outside, but if you come home,、uh, do you always talk about cutting cost? You know, don't waste your time with your kids because all the fun time with kids are wasteful, you know, <laughs> just、uh, <laughs> right, pull, right. pull out all the tissue papers. That's a lot of waste. You know,、uh, making a, a pizza with your kids, it takes three hours or four hours. <laughs> If you're a business owner, hire somebody to do it for you. <laughs> right, right. Order from delivery and it's going to taste better. <laughs> yes. Or、oh, like a cooking something with a family takes three or four years, you know, and making terrible pastas. They don't look good, they don't taste good, but it's、right. fun. So, but oftentimes we, we tend to think like, well, we should hire somebody, we, we should outsource it. But How much do you want to outsource? Because you're losing all the fun. So that is my point. People say, I need a million dollars. And I ask, my question is, why do you need the money? And they say, I want to feel secure. So、uh, do you think one million would be enough? And she or he would say, oh, three million, please. <laughs> and then life doesn't go that way. Money comes after what you give 